Do the rock groups worship and serve Satan? They surely do, and this by their own admission. Here are several examples of how these rockers openly declare their abject loyalty to the devil. The rock group, Black Sabbath, has been known to make altar calls to Lucifer in some of their concerts. Stevie Nicks, of the Fleetwood Mac group, is known for openly dedicating their concerts to the witches of the world. At an Iron Maiden concert in Portland, Oregon, their first words were welcome to Satan's sanctuary. In their Shout at the Devil album, Motley Crue has a song, entitled God Bless the Children of the Beast. One of the reasons that the numerous rock groups dare to so openly talk and sing about their love for sex, perversion, hard drugs, and Satan, is because they believe they have Satan's protection. This has made them all the bolder in their conduct and music, with damaging consequences on their adoring, screaming worshippers. These demon-controlled men know that the more they display their demonology, the more they will be empowered by the devil to continue doing so. Yet it is all a ruse. Satan is not good to anyone. He brings constant sorrow and final ruin even to his own name Master Satanist, Aleister Crowley, helped educate Anton LaVey, who started the Satanic Church of America, with headquarters in San Francisco. Before his death, Crowley made human sacrifices in his home. That house is now owned by Led Zeppelin guitarist, Jimmy Page Here are several of the rock crew, P.S. which have openly identified with Aleister Crowley and his satanic teachings, Iron Maiden, Hall, and Oates, The Beatles, Led Zeppelin. Ozzy Osbourne, Eagles, Rolling Stones The three men in Iron Maiden readily admit that they are into witchcraft and the occult. For their album, Power Slave, they present Egyptian cultic themes. The idea of Power Slave, says Bruce Dickinson, the leader of Iron Maiden, is to try and get enough magic on the album so that it'd maybe rub off on those who hear it. The stage for their World Slavery Tour, has an Egyptian motif, complete with a stone coffin, and replicas of Isis, the occultic Egyptian goddess of fertility and her mate Osiris, a cultic god of the dead. Dickinson adds, in other songs, we refer to guidance through tarot cards, witchcraft cards, and the ideas of Aleister Crowley. To people of antiquity, as well as of the modern world, Egypt appeared as the very mother of magic. Encyclopedia of Occultism and Parapsychology, page 285 Ozzy Osbourne is frontman for the heavy metal group, Black Sabbath. Constantly delving into witchcraft. He has continued to emphasize it after leaving Black Sabbath on his album, Blizzard of Oz. He sang a song about one of the leading Satanists of the 20th century, Aleister Crowley. People are known to have committed suicide after listening to his song, Suicide Solution. The rock group Police song, Wrapped Around Your Finger, tells about Mephistopheles who will teach us how to enter a new, better sphero f existence. The word, Mephis negation Tophiles comes from an opera in which Faust signs a compact with a demon who gives him success for a time, but later causes him to suffer a horrible death Bruce Springsteen has been guided by the spirits to mockingly appear on stage, dressed as a minister who says he was dead until rock music saved him. Welcome to the First Church of the Rock, he announces. He then ridicules going to heaven and promises the audience something better when they die Van Halen is one of the heavy metal rock bands. David Lee Roth, its former singer says the demons taught him to emphasize sex while on stage. Rock and roll is more than music, it's a lifestyle, he says. I abandon my spirit to them. You work yourself up into that state and you fall in supplication of the demon gods. Rape and pillage play important parts in rock and roll. And. Yeah I'm Toastmaster for the Immoral Majority, Rock, April 1984. Roth says he is involved in the cultic Zen, a sect of Buddhism, hit Parader, July 1984. One of his songs is Running With The Devil. After Chrissy Hine started The Pretenders and released their first album, everything seemed to go well. They were able to get lots of money, sex, and drugs. But, within two years, they had to fire the bass player for becoming a total heroin addict. Two years later, in 1984, their guitarist died at the age of 25 from an excess of cocaine and alcohol. In order to find solutions to her problems, rock friends of Chrissy E. suggested that she read the Hindu books and Hare Krishna's books. In a Rolling Stone magazine interview, she said there were times when she was so heavy on drugs and alcohol, she could not speak. But, she added, but for every act of, public or filmed, sodomy I perform, I'm getting £10,000, British money, for now, Rolling Stone, April 26, 1984, John Lennon, along with his group, The Beatles helped shape the values of an entire generation of young people. In 1974, John Green, an occultist, was hired by Yoko Ono, Lennon's wife, to be her tarot card reader. For years, he worked closely with John and Yoko. They did everything according to the cards. In the 1980s, 
a man living in Hawaii, who was also deep into the occult, was spellbound by Satan to kill John Lennon, so he shot Lennon as he entered his New York City hotel.